A couple of weeks ago, a friend of mine rang me up telling me his son had been watching some of my videos and that he wanted me to make him a spaceship, something that could easily sit as a nightlight next to his bed, uh, but with awesome lights. How could I refuse? And this is what I came up with. Yeah, that's me repairing the damage I've done with the EVA foam. The battery pack, no matter how I tried, would not fit inside the tube. So I had to go back to square one and repair the tube that I'd already uh, sawn apart and dug a hole in already. For the lights I thought keeping it simple would be the best option and use this plastic ball so I could shove the lights into it and then I would patch up the holes with clear plastic uh, from lids but didn't like how it looked and would eventually come back to fix that but for now it was just simply sort this out and then get on with the main build. taken a deep dive into the recycle bin again and dug out all the uh, butter containers I could find just so I could get the plastic so I could just make some panels um, and then on this panels I would put some granny grating on top just to give it some sort of texture Just use anything that I could find in my uh, bits box just to uh, bulk out the spaceship and use the, uh, an old chewing gum container just to hold the, uh, the side bit onto it and then I would match that with another one on the other side. Uh, for this I use some, uh, these are from um, the Eurostore um, Nerf gun and I just simply stuck them inside just to give it some sort of like it looked like it was a, a rocket launcher or something. Once the main body was done, I then realised I had another problem because the lid that held the batteries in place wouldn't stay on, so I had to rejig that off camera. But at least the lights worked. Still wasn't happy with the uh, plastic that covered the holes, uh, and then felt it needed something else. So this was uh, again from the Eurostore. I think it was some sort of uh, sling that shot little foam balls so I just chopped it all down and uh, gave it kind of wings and then here I'm just using some uh, masking fluid because I was still at this point going with the idea that it might look okay once it's painted um, but eventually once everything was painted I still wasn't happy um, so I just cracked on using some uh, uh, flexible foam 
just uh, to make little panels for the side pieces. And for the Greeblies, I used some like Lego from the uh, Euro store to uh, just to give little bits here and there that looks more like a spaceship. Once I was happy with how the spaceship looked, um, I gave it a grey undercoat with a rattle can and then it was ready to paint. Um, I didn't want to make the spaceship too big because I had to keep in mind that this was going to sit um, on somebody's bedside uh, cabinet. Feeling frisky, I painted the main body a tan colour and used a red uh, to highlight all the panels. So once I'd taken off the masking fluid, I realised that it still looked really bad. And while I was looking for uh, something else for a, another build while I was building this one, I came across some washers that, um, to my surprise, actually fit the holes of the ball perfectly. So off camera, I just yanked all these plastic bits off and stuck the um, the washers down in its place and I think it turned out a lot better. So because of the repair job on the engine I just uh, repainted it um, a, uh, a red, a reddish brown and then um, it was good to go. So as always thank you for watching. If you like what you saw leave a like, share, leave a comment, even maybe subscribe. And as always, keep scratching that build and I'll see you next time.